they say a journey of thousand miles begins with a single step. But what about ten thousand steps every day for thirty days? Is it just a fitness fad or a life changer? I decided to find out by walking ten thousand steps for every day for a month. I have had a very complex relationship with fitness. As a kid, I weighed hundred and fifteen kgs and I was obese. I don't have any pictures of mine as I was too embarrassed to get kicked. Losing that weight was a triumph, but the fear of gaining it back haunts me. It's almost like a phobia I have. So when a new fitness trend pops up, I am on board hoping not to gain that weight back. That's why I embarked on this 10,000 steps a day journey. This experiment isn't just about shedding pounds. It's inspired by legends in the field of personal development like a Tim Ferriss Ryan Holiday, Matt Devella, Nathaniel Drew, and Dan Ko to name a few. It's my quest to see if I can achieve a tiny bit of what I admire in these guys. Before I started this journey, I got myself measured, and here are my basic stats. The idea of walking 10,000 steps a day started in Japan in 1960s. A Japanese health expert, Dr. Yoshiro Hatano. Found that the average person walked between 3,500 and 5,000 steps a day daily. He thought that increasing this to 10,000 steps would make people healthier. So he helped create a pedometer named Manpo Ki. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, which means 10,000 steps meter in Japanese. This simple goal of 10,000 steps became popular worldwide as an easy way to stay fit. It's not a scientifically proven number for everyone, but it's a good target for increasing daily exercise. The first few days were a big breeze, fueled by sheer excitement and motivation. But then life happened: work deadlines, family commitments, and my own body reminding me that I wasn't a regular at cardio. I am sure most of you all can agree with this, or could possibly relate to such a situation. One highlight was my pilgrimage to the Siddhi Vinayak Temple. A 10-kilometer journey, 14,000 steps, and a moment of spiritual and physical fulfillment. This walk was fulfilling in ways that I cannot express. My walk and a meeting with the divine. I felt blessed and fortunate. Rain or shine, busy living rooms or quiet midnight strolls in my bedroom. I kept that. Today it's uh, raining heavily. So my chance of completing my walk by going outdoor, out to the beach, out to the garden is completely out of the question. I've only completed 4,000 steps so far, and everything will be cordoned off because today is the 10th day of the Ganesh Vishwanath Festival. So I think once again I'll have to complete my balanced 5,000 steps walking in my house. But I'm determined to go for it. So I'll, let's see how it goes. Halfway through, my motivation dipped. That's when I turned to Chat GPT for encouragement. One and one. Let's check it out. Today is uh, day nine of my ten thousand steps a day challenge, and so far I'm struggling. I somehow managed to complete about seven thousand steps with almost ease, but after that it's a real struggle. So I thought, why not use ChatGPT to help me? So I went ahead and created this AI coach in ChatGPT, which is very easy to create. I will link down the prompt I have used in the description below. So. Let's go through a quick demo. So I'll hop on over to ChatGPT. Or the way I have uh, framed this is every day I need to just come here and say hi, and from there on this code GPT will take up the conversation and guide me further. So let's have a quick demo. Hi, hello, how are you today? Did you manage to complete your 10,000 steps challenge for the day? Remember, today marks your 10th day in the journey. Each day is a new accomplishment. Hi, so far I have. Completed only nine thousand two hundred steps, and it's about ten forty-one p.m. here, just an hour away from my bedtime. Let's see what Mr. Coach GPT has to tell me. You are close to your goal, just eight hundred steps away. I know it's late and you might be feeling tired, but you've shown incredible determination so far. And believe in, and I believe in you to complete these last few steps. It might help to break it down into smaller chunks, perhaps two shorter works, to make it more manageable in the remaining time. Your, and just for the record, I have spoken to this coach, 
at least two times in the day just to keep me motivated. So, so far it seems pretty good. I actually look forward to it. There were days when boredom struck hard. I even tried walking with my hands. Spoiler, it does not work. Play dates with my children sometimes in the garden also helped me kick in a few steps. To combat stiffness, I started stretching more. Kept up with my weight training too. After all, balance is the key. I did manage to keep up three times a week to do weight training to ensure I maintain whatever muscle mass I had gained over the years and not lose that. I incorporated a few exercises for my legs as well to ensure that they are strong. Hi everyone, it's uh, day 19. It's about 9.27 here. I've completed 8,600 steps, 1,500 steps to go. So I'll just walk around my house and complete it. Hi everyone, today is day 30 of my challenge, the last day, it's 11.15pm in the night, I have managed to complete 8500 steps so far, so the last 1500 steps to go for me to complete this 30 day challenge, so I plan to finish walking in my living room here and complete the last leg of this. Hi guys, so I have finally completed my 30 day, 10,000 a day step challenge. Today was my last day. It's 11.45 in the night and I can't tell you how thrilled and exhilarated I am right now. So I'm going to go to sleep and I'm going to update more on my entire experience soon and I'm going to release this video very fast. More than any physical benefit which I might have got, the biggest benefit I felt I gained out of this challenge was the time I got to spend with my own self which helped me clear a lot of my mental cobwebs and unattended thoughts and feelings. Trust me, this was the most therapeutic part of all the walking sessions. Being alone, I was forced to attend to a lot of my own feelings and thoughts, which I had been ignoring. And now when I look back, it was truly amazing connecting with my own self. Here are my stats after the 30 day challenge. Tough yet exhilarating. This was a journey more than a fitness challenge. It was a journey of self-discovery and I'm not stopping here. Join me next time as I dive into another adventure. If you have reached this far, I would really like to thank you for watching this video and letting me share my journey with all of you. It really feels nice and cathartic. Thanks for listening me out. Until then, why not take your own first step? See where it leads you. Thank you for watching. I will continue to strive to make more such videos which will help us in our shared journey of self-improvement. Thank you and see you in the next video. Today is the day 2 of my challenge. And it's uh, raining again. Raining again. I am back. I am behind on my step. So uh, due to it being a work day and I am going for my class. So I decided to walk it to the class to cover up some of the steps. I'll update, I'll update you guys later.